Here are seven ways to teach breathing exercises with a poet's heart. Imagine you're made of butter and it's a hot day. Feel yourself melting until nothing is left but the real you. At the end of each exhalation, observe your tension melting like ice cream on a hot day. As you breathe, feel your lungs receiving the air with a smile. Imagine you have a laser beam gadget thingy-majig. Now laser your attention on any part of your body that needs healing. Think of your breath moving like a snake, gliding up and down your spine with the greatest of ease. According to Tantra, kundalini energy rests like a coiled serpent at the base of the spine. And when this dormant energy is given permission to glide up through the seven energy centers, you can't help but shed any psychic debris and transform your inner world. Imagine your belly is a hot air balloon that inflates fully when you breathe in, but when you breathe out it gets struck by lightning, causing your belly to deflate so fully that your belly button almost touches your spine. Imagine your breath spiraling up your spine like a mini tornado. If you like these examples on how to teach yoga with a poet's heart, if you go to my website georgewatts.org and you go to my blog page, and you then go to sort of recent posts on the right hand side, scroll down a bit and you'll find a post called 101 Ways to Teach Yoga with a Poet's Heart. There's also hundreds of other uh, yoga lesson planning blog posts for you to look at for free.